trying to do this, trying to get this right all afternoon. It's not working. We're trying to, trying to use my usual mic stuff. It's not working. So we're going to use the microphone on the phone. We got a whole lot of room noise. Sorry about that. But here we go. Yo, I told Kev that he's tech savvy. That was a motherfucking lie. It was a lie. It was a lie. <laughs> I know nothing. What's up, fam? We send you a cigar here. You, or wherever you are. Hopefully back to good social distancing, stay safe, stay hydrated, all of that. So, look on sitting next to you. Mm. Yeah. Thank God. Hey, folks. <laughs> the man who created New York CNS, the founder of New York CNS, I'm David Ford, the great man, the God guy. We are here in Harlem. And y'all know I don't travel. Since COVID started, I really don't travel. I don't go anywhere. I don't do nothing. But he called me and said, I got, I got something to show you. So here we are in Harlem. And our day, let everybody know what's going on. Oh, well, uh, of course, y'all know the story with the two sisters, four brothers, the restaurant now. Uh, then a uh, uh, couple of brothers, um, well, one of my brothers, Pulled up on me and decided to make me a uh, partner of his in, uh, in a cigar lounge, in an upscale cigar lounge. The first, the first black only upscale cigar lounge in Harlem history. So this is a part of history. And I'm happy to be a part of it. First, and also what, before I even start that shit, I want to uh, say, give thanks to uh, my brother Kevin Senior Cigar. Godfather of Cigars here in New York City, along with the Grey Wolf. Of course, y'all know who we are. You know, New York's GNS. Uh, we go back a long way, spearheaded the urban cigar movement. So, um, yeah, so I'm sitting here at Harlem Sanctuary. Harlem Sanctuary. In the village of Harlem. And uh, this is quite a place. Uh, we're not going to give you a full visual of this spot just yet. Uh, Kevin got his whole thing planned out so where uh, you guys come in, check out our membership, you know what I mean? And uh, be a part of history because this is something entirely different. And um, so here we are at Harlem um, Sanctuary. <laughs> and that address is 4512 8th Avenue. Frederick Douglass, the Frederick Douglass Boulevard, in the village of Harlem. I'm not going to show you anything right now because the place is under construction. We're putting things together. So when everything is ready to be shown, we're going to come back, give you a tour of the place, break down everything you need to know, become a member. This location is going to be by membership. All right? Harlem, thank you. And, uh, oh, by the way, today Senor is smoking a Cigar God Unbanded 6x54, and I may tell everybody what we're smoking, what I'm smoking here. Well, right now he's smoking an Estelle Long filler with uh, with an Ecuadorian wrapper, and we got a Habano binder, and it's a, it's a classic blend of, a, of, of quite a few of your prominent brands. You know, Epidon Sumatra, a very sweet, you know, uh, rapper and robust, and robust and complex, especially when you mix it with several different tobaccos. Um, and I think I think the reason why Kevin is smoking it because it reminds him of the Bendecito, because he's big on the Ecuadorian Sumatra. So, um, so uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a little nervous. I haven't seen him in a very long time. I haven't seen him. Uh, I think the last time we saw each other was uh, pre-pandemic, and it was at uh, GNS uh, 10th anniversary. But that's the last time we smoked together. That's the last time we smoked. The last yeah. time we saw smoked. each other. We saw each other in Brooklyn. He came by to see me when I was, when I was still wasn't able to work. Yes. And I was sitting outside the castle, you know what I do. And he was on a break from his job. He came by, he just sat and he talked for a little while, but we didn't smoke. Mm -hmm. Today is the first time we smoked in like 
couple of years. Couple of years. Yeah. 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 I had a lot going on. I was telling Jeff, yeah, yeah, Once Jeff. Again. I was telling you, like, like this is this is when you have something that is groundbreaking. You know, you're gonna have people come in here, and you know, they're gonna try to check out the blueprint and everything. But just know where it was happening first here in Harlem. You know what I mean? It happened here first. So the this is very. Cool. I say it all the time. New York, CNN. We're not new to this. We are so very true to this. So just just know uh, where it all started at. Yeah, that part. So um, I'm uh, I'm gonna let my man finish this off. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kevin Senior Cigar Bristol, big supporter in the cigar culture, cigar industry, everything. Everybody know him. You know what I'm saying? He's uh he's you know he's my big bro. You know what I'm saying? And my partner. So um, of course you know. He earned a lot of respect in this industry and in the culture. Y'all all know who he is, so, uh, you know, come through. His word is good, you know what I'm saying? So come through, uh, have a smoke with us, and come check out history. That's it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when everything is finished, when everything is done, you'll come back, and I will give you a virtual tour of Harlem Sanctuary. I will give you all the particulars of how, how things are going to go in this particular location. All right, Sam? Absolutely. All right, so as always, shout out to the medical professionals, the first responders, EMS workers, police and fire, postal workers, MTA workers, delivery people, truck drivers going across the country, the mom and pop shop workers, the bodega shop workers, 
the laundry man or anybody who has been considered or deemed essential personnel. Thank you for taking chances with your own health and safety for the health and safety of all of us in this city, in this state, and around the country. What you have been doing is so greatly appreciated. Say thank you is not enough, but we do start out by saying thank you for everything you have been doing during the pandemic. And of course, I've got to remind you, Please check, on, check in on the elders in the family. Your family and friends who live alone, they need to hear from you. They need to know that they're not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. So please get in touch with them any way you can, whether it's through a phone call, a text message, social media, video chat, Zoom, Google, Google Duo, FaceTime, Skype. And remind the people within your circle of friends to do that very same thing. Get in touch with the elders of their families and their family and friends who live alone. No one needs to be alone at this particular time in our lives. Reach out to them. Find out how they're doing. See if they need anything. See if there's anything you can do for them. If this is someone you profess to love, then this should not be a problem. All right, man? And of course, you know I got to tell you, whatever you got planned, whatever you're doing, whether it's uh, after work or during the weekend, whatever, please do all you can to stay safe. It's safe so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. The coronavirus is here. It is not going anywhere. We have lost so many lives. We have lost too many lives. And we don't want to lose any more. So please, do everything within your power to stay safe, so you can stay healthy, so you can stay alive. Part of that, stay hydrated. The dog days are coming. The dog days are just about here. So when you're going out, you want to take out that bottle of water, that lemonade, that iced tea, or whatever you need to stay refreshed and hydrated. Drink water. So you know what you've got to do. You all know. And look, a new fancy glass. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, shout out to Cigar Gods, Cigars and Apparel. Of course, you already know our Cigar Wednesdays at Two Sisters, Four Brothers. 355 East, 116th Street. Come check us out. Y'all know it's a movie all the time. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a great atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? On the any regular day, come check out Harlem Sanctuary right here, 2542 Frederick Douglass Boulevard, or 8th Avenue, you know, in, in, in the village of Harlem. I'm sitting here with my brother. Oh, also, listen, this is coming from who are the big cats here in the urban cigar culture? We have not the luxury for division. We don't have that luxury. So y'all try to plan together. Let's get together. We congregate together. Let's try to get along. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So let's do this. All right? All right, fam. We'll wrap this up so I can finish enjoying this fine tobacco product from my good brother, the least I day record. The Grey Wolf, the Cigar Guy. Family, it is a pleasure to sit here with each other. We've known each other for well over a decade. We were putting some smoke in the air, having some good times, raising money for charity, and just enjoying the cigar life. And we want to continue doing it. Alright? So that's what we're going to do right now. And, uh, so please don't forget, check in with the elders in the family, your family and friends who live alone. They need to hear from you. They need to know that they are not alone. They need to know that someone loves them. They need to know that together we will get through this. And yes, we will get through this. Hashtag. Support mom and pop shop. Hashtag support small business. Hashtag support black business. Hashtag support Latino business. Hashtag support Asian business. Hashtag support small business. And whenever you go out, wherever you go, please make sure that you stay safe so you can stay healthy and you can stay alive. That is it. That is all I got. Cut and dry. I'm man. Send your cigar and enjoy it. I'm fine. The back of the dollar. The cigar guys and bandits. Six by six. Four. And the dollar one. Four with you. Long ass. Better days, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday.
And at some point, I do hope you'll be able to put some smoke in the air. You know I love you like a fat chick loves cake, and I hope to talk to you again real, real soon. And, uh, out. If you hear me. I'm going to tell you what I got. No, Ramon. I got to do a manual. <laughs>